In this video we are going to look at sales and purchase pricing within Microsoft Dynamics NAD 2013. The sales price features offers the best price for customers and the purchase price feature obtains the best price from our vendors. Conditions can include the following for sales and purchase prices. The item variant, unit of measure, minimum quantity purchased, the order date and the currency paid. First of all we are going to look at sales prices. In general a price is set on the item card if a company requires setup of a special price agreement, these are recorded on the sales price page. These can be set for an individual customer, a customer price group, or a marketing campaign. Due to an increase in sales, I have agreed a reduced price for my customer 30,000, the John Haddock Insurance Company. From the 1st of February, if they purchase more than 10 units of the Innsbruck storage unit, then they will pay a reduced price of 200 pounds. I'm logged on to Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 as a sales order processor. From my role centre I can see my key customers and key items. I open up the John Haddock record so that I can add the new sales price. I enter the item number, a minimum quantity of 10 and the new sales price of £200 and the start date for this is the 1st of February with no ending date. Here you can see I've created a sales order for customer 30,000 and with a quantity of one we have the standard sales price. If I change that quantity to greater than one you can now see that the price has gone to 200 pounds. Prices can also be set for a customer group. If a customer is part of a chain then a customer group can be applied to several customers to ensure that they receive the group selling price. I'm going to set up a group called Retail One and when they buy the Sapiro whiteboard, they get a unit price of £800 from the 1st of February. I have created a new customer price group called Retail One. This group also allows discounts if they are available. I add the whiteboard to the sales price for this customer group. The selling price of £800 starting from the 1st of February. I will now add customer 40,000 to this price group. When we look at a sales order for this customer and this item, we can see that two sales prices are available. The one for this customer price group and for the rest of the customers. We are now going to look at the purchase price functionality in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013. As you can see, I am now logged on as a purchasing agent. My vendor, Louis Home Furniture, has offered me a promotion for purchasing the Innsbruck storage unit at £100 for the month of February. Its normal purchase price is £150.60. I open the vendor's record and go to the prices. I enter the item number. purchase price and the start and end date. I'm going to create a purchase order for Lewis Home Furnitures for the item. And I can see that the direct unit cost has come through at £100. If I want to compare this price to my other vendors, I can view all the special offer prices available. I do have another price available, but it's actually at a higher cost, so I'm going to keep with the original one. To summarise, the benefits of using sales and purchase pricing within Microsoft Dynamics NAV is that it provides good customer service and contributes to lasting relationships with your customers. It obtains the best price to apply to each transaction and your purchasing agents are made aware of any potential cost savings.